Um, so who doesn't like pets? Uh, please raise your hand if you have a pet or if you know someone that has a pet. Right. Most, be most of us are impacted by a pet, right? They are cute, they are fun, and most of the time they are best friends. But having a pet also is a challenge, right? We have to provide everything for them, since shelter, food, to veterinarian, health insurance, and so on. And how do pet owners find all those services? They have to go through several blogs, websites, maybe ask friends, neighbors, or other pet owners to find the right product for the right price. But this takes a lot of time and takes money as well, right? Having a pet like having a child, you spend a lot of money. So that has to be a better way. That should be a better way to find everything you need to take care of your pet. That's why we have Pet and Time, which is the most complete social media for pets, pet owners, and of course, pet lovers. We don't want to exclude the pet lovers as well. So we improve the quality of life of pets and pet owners by providing services that are gonna help them, like pet sitting, pet walking, report missing pet. We improve pet and pet owner health by providing health insurance, they can pick from uh, several health insurance options, and also uh, information that's gonna help them to take care of their pets. We connect pet owners and make their lives easier because they don't have to search everywhere, every time for different uh, services or products. They can find everything on the mobile web. We provide reliable services, why? Because all the pet owners can rate and give feedback to the providers so they know where they should get the service of the product they're looking for. So let's talk about the numbers. Does anyone here know how many pets or pet owners we have in the US? I guess. It's a huge number, guys. In the US, we have three, over 300 million on pets. It's almost equal to the population of the US, okay? That means seven, seven households have at least one pet, seven, seven million households. In the US, only last year, over six billion dollars were spent in 2015. And the number continues to grow. On the world, the estimated population of households that have pets over 800 million people, which is they spend about 800 billion dollars in products and services for pets. And the market projections continue to grow and grow and grow a lot. So in 2015, about 18% of the world population had at least one pet. However, if we look at 2020, 30% of people are gonna have at least one pet. In the US, we are talking about 92 million pet owners by 2018, only two years from now. So what does a pet tie offer for the pets and pet owners? We wanna help pet owners take care of their pets, but we also want to connect all these businesses, vendors, to uh, these pet owners so they can find the information and the service they need quickly and easily. So as you can see, we have several features that are combined into a single place. And we actually have unique features that are not available elsewhere. Like for instance, report a missing pet. So if you lost your pet, you're probably gonna have to, you know, print some flyers, ask neighbors, and going around, maybe posting pictures on Facebook. If you have a, a pet and tie app, you can send alert immediately to all pet tie users nearby, so they can help you to find your pet. And that uh, feature is, is patented by us, so nobody can copy us. We also provide pet sitting and pet walking, free pet sitting and pet walking. So we're gonna help those pet owners to save money as well. We provide user information according to each location. Right now we are working with two cities in Massachusetts where pet owners are gonna be able to get license for pets, but also information from the city. So where you can take your pet? Does that park allow pets? Can I take my pet to the public transportation? Everything is gonna be, be available on the app. So these are some views of the mobile app. Uh, you are more than welcome to download the app right now. It's already available on App Store and Google Play. We have about 1,500 uh, users right now. We just launched an app about two weeks ago and average downloads about 130 downloads a day. So in fact, everybody loves pets. They wanna post pictures of their pets. They wanna tag pets on social media. Who has a pet most likely already posted several pictures of their pets on Facebook or Instagram, but now the pets, they have their own social media, 
plus the pet owners can use the social media to help themselves. That's it, thank you. Hmm. Oh yeah, any questions? Any, any plans to tie in any paid service from, from other providers? Yes, uh, so uh, we are in the first phase right now, but the second phase we're going to enable all the pet owner, I mean pet shops, veterinarians, hospitals, so people are going to be able to make appointments, schedule services and buy products and services on the app. As of right now, the app and the services are free, so we want to get as much users as we can. Sure. Everybody has the question. <laughs> So when I was creating uh, this idea, uh, it was really hard to find a name that was not taken. Uh, most uh, names associated uh, with pets are taken already. So I have seen many pets wearing ties everywhere. And people just love the bow ties and, and all sorts of ties. And ties also means connection, right? So I combined both and I created pet and tie, but also we're gonna send ties to every pet owner and the tie is gonna have a QR code that's gonna uh, be used to identify your pets to uh, locations that are gonna be partnering with us.